going to give you a quick run of my gear that I'm going to use for this year's tours. If we start with my amps, they have been Engel amps since I think 1997 and uh, people always ask me, is all that sound from that little amp? No, it's not. It's from this amp over here. This is an Engel retro tube combo and I've had this for two or three years now and it's my favorite amp. It's small, compact, and it's a great sound. What I do is I play in stereo so I go to a signal into the front of the angle combo, then I split it after the loop into stereo effects, and I go to the both returns of the stand of the loop goes into one goes into the combo, the other goes into the iron ball, which is a light little amp, which I can use on a gig if I want to use just one small amp. The system looks very complicated, but it is not. If we start from the controller, which is a Skrudstrup, note it's pronounced Skrudstrup in Danish. This controller has everything I need. From here I can change channels of the amp, the gain boosts, the master volume, everything is here by a foot controller. I have a bank of presets, one to five, and then I can go up different banks, whatever I like, instantly to the songs or whatever I want. The cool thing with this is that I have, I have presets, but I can also change the presets whenever I like. So for instance, if I play on my crunch channel, I can push in any effect I want, any time, like the vibe. Or the fuss. Just a small boost. The reverb. Or the Leslie. The Wawa on the board is a Kreuter. I think it's made in Switzerland. Very nice pedal because one thing it has a great sound. There's some cool options on it You can check that on the net, but it's very light and you know at this age I Can't carry everything myself, so I need help and the lighter the gear the better From the board I go into the rack where I have all my pedals Basically all stomp pedals captain coconut 2 which I've had for years It's my go-to box for everything all the pedals are on all the time but they're in loops in this MR10 screw strip loop system. Every one pedal is in their own loop. The vibe, the fuss, the Octavia, the reverb. This is my secret weapon, the little boost, the angle retro pedal, great little pedal. The Leslie, my phone as you can hear, and uh, the delay. And the delay has different presets that I changed by MIDI. But the cool thing is if I don't want anything on, I can switch everything off simply by tapping on it. I don't have to do that much tap dancing anymore. This has made my life a hell of a lot easier, a little bit heavier to carry, but it's really nice. And uh, for the small club shows where we can't really have the big rig, we do small shows too. I have a small pedal board that has basically the same pedals on a little board. But this is very nice when I have presets because there are a couple of songs in the set where I go from a high gain elite tone with a long delay and a little bit of reverb to a clean sound with the Leslie on and that takes forever if you have to do it manually with your foot. Now I can just go from preset number six to number seven and it's all there. Very simple. Long live the racks. Uh, the guitars that I'm using on this tour, this is my Paoletti Strat, made in Italy by uh, Paoletti Guitars. The wood is like 120 year old chestnut from wine barrels and I this is a Chardonnay very nice 
yeah. <laughs> this is a cool guitar. I've used this now a lot. I love it. It's great to play on a maple neck, which I don't use so much before. Other guitars that I have with me. For instance, this Gibson Les Paul. Custom shop. Um, Musik Produktiv in Germany made six guitars like this. This is kind of a look-alike copy of what I think Gibson calls gallery choice. It's a look-alike copy of Gary Moore's Stripe Les Paul. Great lightweight Les Paul. I'm absolutely in love with this guitar. This will be with me on the tour. My main Strat, which, okay, everything falls apart. My main Strat, custom shop uh, 63 Strat. I've had this guitar for, like, I don't know how long now. It's been my main guitar for so long. All my guitars have Klopman pickups and a Klopman dummy coil system underneath, which I activate by pushing that little thing. And now I get rid of a lot of that 60 cycle hum, which is very annoying sometimes when the electricity is really bad. Then I have this cool thing, a Duesenberger Outlaw. I call this the real fake leather guitar. It's not something you'd often see in my hands, but I really grown to like this guitar. It's got like a single cup in the neck and a humbucker in the bridge. And it's kind of, for me, different kind of tremolo. But this is really cool to play something different on. And I, I play differently on all guitars because, well, they make me play different. But this is something that will be on the tour as well. I have another strap here which I won't take on the road for this tour simply because enough's enough and there's not more space in the van. This one is built in Hamburg by Alex Fink, guitar crazy. He built, built it to me, uh, to my specs, Klopman pickups and uh, it's also a great guitar but I can only take so many guitars on the road so this one will have a little rest now but it will on on all the finish gigs I will have it as well. So here you go. This is very simple, maybe for you, to me, but to you maybe not. But hey, I love to tinkle with the gear. Thanks for checking this out. Bye.